there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome. This is your daily reading for August 7th. Happy birthday to all my Leo sons out there. Wishing you a happy, abundant, blessed birthday season with many, many years to come. This reading is for August 7th, but do keep in mind that time is fluid. And we're going to start it off with a number to see what number spirit is highlighting for you for the day. Leo, you may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. And your number is 30 with I am imaginative. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas, and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. So open up your creative energy. Imagine what you want. I think I may have bring this up not too long ago that, you know, certain people can't see things in their mind. So if you have that power, use it to your advantage. Imagine the things that you want. Play them out in your mind's eye. This is kind of giving me that you are very influential or very persuasive at this time. Although there is actually a card that says I am persuasive, I think. Um... But I feel like you are going to be able to get people to open up their imagination. In some way, shape, or form, it looks like you are going to be very well received through a conversation. And it looks like you're not only going to be heightening your creativity and your power to imagine things for yourself, but you may be helping out another person. And if you are in a position of needing to persuade someone or influence someone in your life, then giving them ways and ideas to look at things differently is going to be very beneficial at this time. Because sometimes certain people just don't think of things. They don't have that imagination energy, or maybe they do and they just haven't thought of it yet. So the divine direction for the day is clearing. Remove energy box any energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter. All right, so clear out your vibes, clear out your energy, go get a Reiki session, go get some body work done, go get some light therapy, go through a decluttering of your energy. Now is the time to do so. And I feel like for a lot of you... You may have a download or a thought or like an epiphany moment while you are cleaning. That happens a lot of the times. Just the movement of your energy making space for more to come in. Energetically, it happens. So let's see what angel is with you for the day. Clearing out your vibes and also welcoming in new ideas, new energies. And your angel is... Clear your vibes. I can't make this up. Oh my gosh. Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Met Metatron, for clearing my energy field. And I kid you not, in this re in this deck yesterday for the daily, you received a card very similar to the divine geometry that Metatron holds in his energy. So now you're getting it again. So Y'all need to be cleansing your energy, laying incense, take a salt bath, whatever the case may be. You have the energy of the word clear here twice, um, which is a very rare word to have a double play on. So there could be a connection to the word clear for you. I also feel like something may be coming very clear to you as well. So I feel like something's going to open your eyes in this moment. Let's see what unicorn is with you. And you have dignity. Yep. Hold your head up high and know that the unicorns are supporting you. Yeah, because you know what? I feel like a lot of you Leos, um, there could be an energy that's around you that once you come into the position of imagining your dream life, they're like, mm, Leo, let's be realistic. 
And I feel like some of y'all don't need that energy. Or most of you don't need that energy. It's like you want someone who's going to build on the things that you are imagining and being like, wow, Leo, that's a great idea. Imagine if you added this. Not someone who's going to be like, Leo, that's a great idea, but I don't really see it happening for you. They don't have that power. Sometimes you have to separate yourself in those energies. The <coughs> so the fact that you have dignity here, I feel like someone was making you feel not as worthy, not as abundant. It looks like, and you've received this message not too long ago and how I felt like you were absorbing someone's energy. But the fact that you're getting this type of cards out for the day, I kind of want to say that some of you almost were like absorbing someone's mindset and mentality. Whoa. Okay, let's get one more unicorn. And you have freedom. Yep, let the unicorn set you free. Yep. You have clearing, you have freedom. Whatever has been holding you back, whatever has been making you feel blocked, this energy is going to be removed. Whether divinely removed, in a way that feels like it has to happen, or in a free will move where you're kind of like, yep, I get it. It makes sense. I need to clear this energy out. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop going here. I need to stop being around this energy. There's definitely been something that you can feel that's built tension in your energy field. Something's been messing with your biomagnetic field, the field that is around all of us. And it looks like you are getting a wonderful cleanse. It's almost like the universe is like doing Reiki on you. <laughs> but I definitely do feel like you should look into cleansing your energy as well. In any way, shape, or form that you could do a ritual, whether you sage yourself or you light an incense or you take a salt bath. There's definitely something here where they're just like, shake off the energy. You're going to be freed from something. And it's going to help you wake up inside. It's going to help you imagine greater for yourself. So let's see what we have in your tarot. What's coming your way for the day is the sun. Clearance. Good vibes. I'm telling you, something is going to be very, very clear for you today. There is going to be a very big spotlight on the answer. So if you have been very uncertain about things, it's going to be right in front of your face. Your possible challenge for the day is the Knight of Wands. So your challenge being the Knight of Wands is that spontaneous energy. Is that energy that doesn't let other people's bad vibes ruin their day. Like the Knight of Wands is just going to keep on going. They're going to be like, oh, you don't have great energy. Let's gallop this way. Um, the Knight of Wands is that energy that is spontaneous. They have a lot of energy. They want to do things. They want to live their life. They want to be in love with their life. So I feel like there was an energy that was opposite to the Knight of Wands that kind of caused your energy to not be as enthusiastic for life. Because the fact that the Knight of Wands is your challenge, that's showing me that for some of you... That spark and that light and that happy energy of life was dimmed in your energy and or you could resonate to both of these things that I'm about to say. Your challenge could be an inconsistent individual this today. Now, like I said, time is fluid. I'm getting this out on the 6th, although this is for the 7th, depending where you are at in the world. Some of you are already feeling the vibe of like, oh my gosh, Miss Machista, I have this inconsistent, unreliable person. They always have an excuse for something. I do feel like they're messing with my vibes. This could be what's challenging you at the moment. An inconsistent individual. Your advice for the day is the Ten of Pentacles. Focus on what is reliable. There you go. Focus on what is already stable in your life. If this person is not stable in your energy... Focus on what is. Don't focus on them. And if you feel like you've lost that sense of enthusiastic energy towards life, 
I feel like this advice with the Ten of Pentacles is telling you, like, you have what you have. Your foundation is there. Your foundation is being built. It doesn't mean you still can't have fun with life. So we have what's coming your way, your possible challenge, your advice, and your outcome for the day is the Ace of Cups. So some of you may have some new love offers coming your way. Some of you may have some new connections coming in. And a lot of the times when new connections come in, the connections that have already been in your life get a heightened focus. Because unfortunately, by humanity of our brains, we got the left brain, we got the, we got the right brain. Some of the times and most of the times, we compare energies. So I do feel like there could be a new connection in your life or a new connection coming into your life that highlights a specific person that you're like, hmm, I can't just excuse this individual and say, well, they're just like that or people are like that. When look at this new connection I have, it is fulfilling, it is respectful, it is reliable. So I do feel like there could be a new connection in your life coming in already in and I feel like it's gonna highlight another person in your energy that you're like ooh I've been kind of just settling for this energy let's see the sun as what's coming your way for the day clarified by the four of pentacles yep there it is you're going to open up you're going to wake up to something a lot of you uh what's coming your way financial blessing as well um, with the sun to the four of pentacles, that gives me an indication where you felt like you didn't have enough money to spend money on like things that you wanted or things that you need. Some of you have more spending money around this time or just more of like that extra money as well. The knight of wands, and that could have also held you back from doing things, which definitely connects. It makes a lot of sense. Knight of Wands as your possible challenge for the day is the Eight of Pentacles. Yep. You have a possible distraction coming in. I do want to say that. Someone may try to distract you today from your goals, from your desires, from your dreams, from your imaginations. And others of you and or, because you can resonate to both of these storylines, your challenge is, you know what this is giving me? Knowing when to put the work in and knowing when to have fun. Knowing when to be serious and knowing when to be lighthearted. Some of you may be struggling with that at, that mo at this moment. Ten of Pentacles, as your advice, focus on what's working with the Ace of Pentacles. Exactly. Because when you focus on what's working, you attract more opportunities and offers that will also work in your favor. So your advice is to focus on what and is reliable, who you can count on, not the energy that you know you're like, eh, okay, they're asking me for this, but I don't know if they'll even follow through. Stop focusing on those types of energies. And your advice, Ten of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles if there is any new money opportunities or new money ideas you have, get the ball rolling. Because with the Ten of Pentacles, this could set you up for life. I feel like for some of you, you have a lot of pentacles here. Let's see what we have as your outcome. Ace of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles. Another pentacle. All right. The day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit, right? But if you never plant the seed, then how will the fruit ever come? So I feel like someone is distracting you from planting seeds. I feel like someone has been throwing you off of your game or at least attempting to. And or this individual is just going to come into your energy or at least try to today. And that's why they're bringing this person up. There could be a slight test of throwing you off of your game. And I feel like it's in a way of like career focus, business focus, or like self work focus. It doesn't have to be actual work. It could just be that like you're working on yourself and here comes a past player that you know is not good for you 
And it's like they always come in right when you get really good at working on yourself. And energetically, that's going to happen. Because attention goes where focus goes. So if you've been focusing on them, the attention goes to them. But if you focus on you, the attention goes to you. But not all attention is good attention. So I do feel like for some of you, you may be tested by a, what you look like as an unreliable person. I see you perceive this person as someone that you can't really always rely on them to follow through with either what they say or what they say that they'll do. But this energy is going to amplify the connections that are existing in your life or new in your life that are actually reliable, that actually follow their word and actually mean what they say. Because I feel like somehow, some way, it was throwing you off of your game in some way, shape, or form. And I want you to perceive this person in a, in a specific way. Because I almost feel like for some of you, it doesn't mean that this person is coming back and this person could be around you and you've had an unreliable energy that needs to be cleared out. Doesn't mean that you have to cut them off, but probably not in the, like, what am I trying to say? Like not give them that much power to overtake your routine and overtake your day is what I feel here. Because I feel like some of you may have not even been realizing that this person was throwing you off your game until today. Something is going to become very clear to you. You have taken on someone else's mindset. And I want you to observe this person in this way. They're unreliable to you, right? When they say that they'll do something for themselves, do they do it? Or are they just as unreliable to their own self? You know those people that always say like, oh, to, like, to other people. Like, oh, I know I really need to work on this. And they always just say they know they really need to work on something, but they never do it. Or they say like, yeah, this is the week I'm going to leave this toxic partner. And they say that every week. So if someone is not reliable to themselves, how can you expect them to be reliable to you, you know? And that's why you, as you learn universal energy and you, you, you learn energy, that's when you learn not to take, take things personable, personal. So I feel like that's why you have the sun to the four of pentacles. Yes, I feel like there's financial gains. I see extra spending money for you, especially with your advice here and any sort of money making ideas you have at this moment that you are imagining or that you just cannot get out of your imagination. It's there for a reason. It's there because it wants to be acted on. So clear out your vibes because you may not be hearing your inner voice that well because of the chatter from other energies. So with your outcome being the Ace of Cups of the Knight of Pentacles and you also receiving the Ace of Pentacles, you have new opportunities coming your way, Leo. You have new connections coming your way, Leo. And some of these connections are going to not only help you be more stable, but they may even actually show you that there are stable and reliable people in the world. Sometimes it just takes that one person to show you like, wow, people like that are out there. I've just been attracting energies that weren't. So it looks like you are definitely coming into offers, opportunities, and new connections, but not without an energy trying to like, what do they say now? Poke the bear or don't poke me or something. Someone may try to poke you or I feel like you're going to have a really strong epiphany moment where you're realizing that someone was poking you whether indirectly or directly. Um, I'm trying to think of this quote that I'm hearing. But it's like, don't talk big goals with small minds. You're always going to get shut down. You're always going to feel like you're being delusional. You're always going to feel like your desires are out of reach. So I feel like the universe is giving you open-minded people, open-minded connections through emotional connections, 
and physical connections. So you could have some loving connections come your way and some connections that also bring you some major growth through abundance where they're a open-minded energy. And there's so much power in exchange. A lot of the times when I sit down to one of my fellow sweet, sweet members that is also really spiritual, we'll have like an hour conversation, just throwing ideas back at each other. And we'll just like talk about things and we'll just have um, these just like amazing high energy conversations. And I kid you not, Whenever we have those hours of conversations with each other, both those open-minded energy, something happens to us like later in the day or like later in the week that connects to something that we said. So there is power in two. But it looks like certain energies just weren't giving you that back. They were too small-minded. But it looks like you are getting blessed with open-minded people, more opportunities, and it looks like there is a very specific offer you will receive that looks like it's going to free you from an energy that you didn't even want to be a part of or free you from a mental block or free you from an emotional block or free you from a financial block. And I'm so sorry. I know I sound different. My throat chakra is insanely blocked off right now. So that's why I sound different. And some of you have very great observation and very great intuition are able to understand I am not sick. I had an experience actually on the new moon in Leo and I'm a Leo moon um, where I was in conversation with someone and I did not express everything I wanted to express. And me and my body and my mind, we are so connected now. I've worked so hard on making that connection so when I woke up with a stiff neck and stiff upper shoulders, I directly already knew what it was. So I'm sorry. <laughs> it's getting better. And your ending oracle here, Leo, is shining through card number 30. You, end, you started off with the 30 and you end with the 30. Wow. Three, three, pay attention to the threes. Shining through. And that's why what's coming your way is the sun. Get ready to shine through brighter because I feel like you were dimming that shine. You are being called to step into your true power and essence. This is one of those times when you're required to bring everything you've learned, experienced, and integrated and offered up to service in the world. When you take center stage, you will be noticed. Yes, as you shine brightly, you will naturally stand apart from others. This idea may bring up excitement and genuine pride or discomfort, but this is not the same, but this is not the time to make yourself small to avoid the glare of the spotlight and potential punishment by others. I knew I felt that. I felt like the word small. I'm like, why do I feel small minded? It takes courage, but know that this is the right thing for you today. You have come so far. You have been in the proverbial back of the room in learning and gathering mode for so long. And this important time has served its purpose. You must now step into new consciousness, seizing a new opportunity to share your wisdom. You will be like a lighthouse shining through the dark, illuminating the way for others telling you be careful of the voices in your head that say you can't or you don't know enough or who are you to shine the better question is who are you not to shine all you are and all you have become is by the grace of the divine now it is your duty to share your gifts celebrate this wow wow i love that one sentence they said uh, where is it? Yes, as you shine brightly, you will naturally stand apart from others. And I felt that with the outcome because I'm like, why do I feel like someone's standing out to you? So as you are shining and clearing out the energies that hold your shine back, you're going to attract fellow people that not only embrace your shine, but also want to shine with you. Not take your spotlight, but make it even a bigger light, you know? So this is amazing. Wow. 
Um, all right, Leo, this is what I have here for y'all for the day. Um, Leo plus Aries and Leo plus Taurus are out for instant downloads on my Etsy shop. If you are interested in either of those Zodiac signs for Leo plus for August. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. There is a very high chance I go live on the 8-8 day. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what time I would do that. So just keep your eyes on the community page. I will get a post out if I'm going live by the end of tomorrow night. So just keep your eyes open. Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. Talk to y'all soon. Bye now.